Good morning, world. Slowly but surely, we'll get up. <laughs> Don't want to. Good morning. Last night I did this uh, too cool for school egg cream face mask, and it smelled really nice. So my skin is nice and nourished. What a beautiful day. Okay, so I'm gonna go out for lunch in a bit, but before that I have to do some washing as per usual because it is Sunday, so let's go. So once again using this, and I'm mainly just washing like t-shirts and undergarments, light pants, not jeans because it takes too long to like dry. And then... And then you just use your normal laundry detergent and put a little bit of that in this little pod. Put it in! And then tighten it. Just spin it like this for about two minutes. Every week, like I don't go to the laundromat every week. <laughs> you might think that's a little gross, but I use this every week for those in between washes just so I can function and still live like a normal human being with underwear and bras. Alrighties, hooey! And the water comes out, yay! My friend's like, Are you ready? Let's eat! I'm like, I'm washing my clothes, man! What? Phase two is dry up. I'm going to go high and turn it on for about 60 minutes. Okay, so done with the washing. That was really quick and easy. That's why I like doing it at home on weekends because now I can just leave it in there and I don't have to friggin' pick it up at the laundromat. If you wanted like a more in-depth kind of routine about how I actually wash and use all the um, the dryer or the washer thing, I have another video so you can check that out and all the details of the products and stuff are linked below. But anyway, let's get ready for lunch because I'm actually running late. What a beautiful day. More beautiful companion. <laughs> oh my gosh, so humble. Sit down. Be humble. Humble brag. Be humble. These people are taking a nap. What? I think they're called homeless people. <laughs> that's not a nap, that's where they live. Um, so we're going to get brunch now. I walked past this place the other day because um, it like just opened and then we saw this Business Insider video. And you know when Business Insider does a Facebook video it on a food good. place? No, it's, it's not, not even good. It just like hypes it up like that milk and cereal place we yeah. went to, which was kind of like okay, but it wasn't that great. But anyway, so we're gonna check the Sosta place out. So this place is in Norita, which is where all the cafes and coffee shops, yeah. and we're here. Okay, look at yeah. this place. Yeah. <laughs> so we got these like window seats. Are you ready to eat? Okay, you can't eat until mine comes here too, okay? Oh, damn, everything's so pink. I'm the sauce Yes, they are. I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This is how you eat them. Oh, my God. So, truffle. Gorgonzola. This is the bomb. Like these two together. Okay. So good. So before I was like breathing in and then a booger went down my throat and then I coughed it out. 
<laughs> and then when you were breathing out, I saw something like flapping underneath your nose. <laughs> we're gonna go kayaking. Because there's free kayaking on the Hudson. And we're here. Okay. We are currently walking through 50 avenues to get over to the Hudson River. So there is not much by the time you get over to 10th or 11th Avenue, except wind. <laughs> the last time I went kayaking was in survival camp in grade 5 Wait, or grade 6. Survival camp? Yeah, you guys didn't have that. You okay, we so were like, banished to in, survival camp. No, no, no. Camp. Yeah. In primary school, your, the whole grade. Listen to me. They send you on a trip for a couple of days with teachers and like your whole grade. And they banishment. And it's actually really fun. You do all these like outdoor hiking things. You learn about like capsizing and what you do when you capsize. Aww. No. The reason for capsizing is not weight distribution. Well, a lot of it kind of is. That's what I'm saying. It's a <laughs> Good one. We made it. So this is frying pan. It's like a restaurant by the water on a boat. Wait, this is, this can be in it. It's here. Isn't it? Okay, so we were retard. <laughs> so Pier 26 is not street. I mean, is not 26. Doesn't correspond. Street. Yeah, exactly. So now we have to walk another 20 blocks. We have half an hour to try make it because helicopter. It's gonna fly sometime now. Anytime now. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> there Distracting. What was I saying I before the helicopters came Squirrels. and ambushed us? So we are now currently walking 20 blocks. Okay, after a million years, what it seems like we're at 84 Pier 84 Boathouse, and we made it with with like 10 minutes to go. Manhattan kayak and sup, sup. What's up? Oh, cool. They're all in here. Sometimes in life, <gasps> there's no more What's rentals SUP? for the day. Oh, but we freaking walked all the way here. Here. Yeah. Now I'm parched. We should switch. You speak Australian. Parched. Parched. As your American. All right. No. <laughs> That's a failed southern accent. Yes. Oh, right. Are you comfortable there? Yeah. <laughs> Funny guy. No phone. What's one interesting thing about yourself that I don't know of? That's a hard question. Kind of is. So this is the... Meeple and onion. Oh, this caramelized bit looks good. The same guy that opened Ivan Ramen in Lower East Side, which is the ramen place. Clearly, Ivan Ramen. <laughs> he opened a pizza place in Gotham Markets, which is like a food hall. So you can see there's a bunch of different places here. And we just happened to stumble across it as we were moping our way back into the city. You're moping. I'm not moping. <laughs> What's up guys? Back home now after much failure with trying to go kayaking but I guess you know tomorrow's another day. After that we just kind of came back and then I got hungry so I went to Vanessa's and if you guys don't know what Vanessa's is 
in New York. They're like this OG like dumpling restaurant place. Six to eight dumplings for $2.50. Yo, it doesn't get more cheap than that. And it's actually like pretty good. And they also do these really good duck pancakes and like I have nothing really to show for it because I already kind of ate it all as you can see. And then I kind of got even more hungry and made myself some instant noodles. So as you can see, my diet is going really well. It consists of saturated fats and sodium. <laughs> oh, by the way, I got this plant and it's quite beautiful. This is the snake plant. Okay, if you guys are one like me and any plant that you try to raise in your room just ends up dying. What's really cool about this is it literally cannot die. It can live without sunlight. It can live without you watering it for like weeks on end because its leaves store water. It also, I'm like promoting this plant <laughs> and it also produces oxygen during the night whereas most plants produce oxygen during the day so it like filters out the air in your room and it just sits right here on my little desk thing and you guys ask me where I got this desk it's like a two tier desk I got this off Amazon why is my hair so greasy like ew hey how you doing? I've been using a bunch of new Korean skincare that has been really good to my skin so I want to show you guys how I clean my face so let's do that Okay, so first of all, if I had um, my makeup on, I'd go in with this cleansing oil and it's from Derma E. It's the Nourishing Rose Cleansing Oil. I've gone through about like three quarters of this now. It's really good. It's really gentle and it doesn't like burn the eyeballs when you kind of try to rub off waterproof mascara and makeup and stuff. Let's just wash the face again. You just put like few squirts of this on slowly kind of massage it into the face like this and then wash it and then one of I think the game-changing cleansers I've uh, come across this month is this Dr. Jart set so what it is is three different cleansing masks I'm a sucker for these clean packaging so there's like one that's pink and there's a gray blue and then there's like a green so they're all different colors of clay so you put it on like you would a mask you choose whichever one um is like fitting for your skin the difference between the three is the white has uh chamomile so it's for calming the pink one has lotus flower extract um which is for hydrating and then the green one has lemongrass extract and it's for sebum control so the first time i used it was the sebum control control because it was like a really hot day and my skin was like like really oily and stuff I'm gonna use the white one today for calming it's like two in one it's a mask that turns into a foaming cleanser when you wash it off so just apply it all over the face just a thin layer I don't know why I use my left hand so awkward okay and then after three minutes we're gonna wash it off and then um yeah, so I don't know, you can like go chill. So in the meantime, go chill, do whatever you want, go watch a video or just dance break in the bathroom. Bed. Who should I call? I'm waiting for my mask to dry and I didn't know what else to do in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, okay, my mask has dried. You have done your job. Adios amigos. Aw, she just hung up on me. Rude. Okay, so now that it's kind of dry to the touch. I look like a mime. Mom. 
Okay, so back to the room. So I've been using this Innisfree Green Tea um, Intensive Hydrating Serum. I put one and a half, and then just smear that on the face. And then I go in with this Innisfree free youth enriching gel cream you want to stick with gel if you have combination oily skin and it's really light and really fast absorbing which is why i like it and then just massage that into the skin this is not sponsored by the way <laughs> they're opening a new store i think it's their first new york store in union square later on this month so i'm gonna go to their opening and i'm really excited and then the last step I like to just finish everything off is put on the, if it focuses, the GlossierMintBalm.com. I just love anything like mint. And it has a really nice tingling mint feeling. Yay! That is my night. What else is there to report? Oh yeah, so I didn't tell you guys, but I am going to Paris for a week in October. So if you guys are from Paris or you live in Paris, please, 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 please let me know and give me like any recommendations of places that um, I should check out, especially food because I'm all about that life, um, but also like just cool local places. And I think that's all for this vlog. I'm sorry we couldn't do things and you found it boring. But anyway, remember to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Good night.